right, so that should give me a pretty good amount of cells on this side. Not all of them that I need, but it's a pretty good amount. Let's quick build one cell at a time here. Go like this. Like that. There we go. Oh, there you go, look. It's marked as a cell and the door is open. Oh, well, there you go. Wonder why it's not doing it here. Unless it is now. Huh. Well, it's working. At least it seems to be. Let's get these doors in. You might be right. I don't know why it didn't do it before, but... You might be right. You might be right. Let's get the doors installed. Also, for some reason or another, this wall is not built. Let me get that built, too. Quick build this cell, please. Here and here. So we get these cells done. Now, I, I gotta start on these cells, too, but right now, I think I need to figure out if there's too much violence that I need to address here, what I might be able to do about it. How long has it taken you to build the prison? Um, I don't actually know. That's a hard question to answer. I think this is stream number six. So, I might be 30 hours in right now. I think. I mean, we got, we got plenty of things that are delaying me. There's plenty of ways the chat's been delaying me, but... I think we're about 30 hours in. I think. Uh, this guy's got a ch chance, of, chance of clemency 46%. So, pretty good odds this first try here. Tough and volatile. Luis Alberto de Lima. All these people. All right, so our federal witnesses are gone. It's a big deal. I'm gonna get this down to just one now. We're getting a pretty steady flow of death row people too. It's kind of interesting. I didn't expect this steady of a flow. But we are getting, we're, we are getting that. He's got some visitation to do. He's got his appeal to do. He's got a 30% likeliness of clemency now. So let's see what happens to Francisco Jose Ba. Whether or not he gets his uh, clemency or not. I don't know. Oh, Francisco got it. He's going to serve 122 years. He's in for life. He got it. 66%, but his, he's got no reputation, so we might be able to reform him and get him to be like a good, permanent, you know, resident of the workshop. Possibly. We'll see. Valdez. There's Delima Valdez. Wonder when you're going to have yours. I don't know. We should move visitation over. I didn't anticipate having this many death row people, but... If I move visitation over... Like, over here... Then I can make this another parole. I kind of think I need to do that. Or that I want to do that. So we can make this another parole room. Oh, this guy. This guy. Yeah, this guy. He's gonna be a problem. He's gonna be a problem. I think I need... Somebody out in this area. Patrol in this area at all times. I need some people in here. Always. And I think... I probably... Should... Look into training them for tasers. I was gonna hold off on it. Because I thought I was gonna do that small... That small prison thing. <clears throat> the small is beautiful, but... I... Think not... I think it's worth them having tasers, so I'm gonna get taser certification going right now. 
And I think we're going to get that going... Kind of as soon as possible. Where? What time is it? It is... Almost 8 o'clock. So, can I get a, a class session at 8 o'clock? Right here. Taser certification happens right here. Let's get them, let's get them outfitted with it. I don't think I'm going to do the small is beautiful right away, so. <clears throat> Why the 4,000 death row metal? Any specific reason? Missed so much of the build. Um, are you referring to this? It's just like my hallway, like my walk, all my walkways are this metal color. This metal tile thing. I don't know, I just decided to do it that way. Actually, I could put prayer mats in here as well. I totally did not cater to the spirituality need of this prisoner. What kind of needs does he have? I wish I could see his needs. Oh, I can't on the mouse over. So he wants luxuries. You have a television in your cell. That is your luxury. You have a television in your cell, sir. That counts. Cheap way to process a death row guy. If he just dies by guard, then, you know, so be it. That's fine. Uh, let's get these cells, these, these vertical ones here. Or the ones that are going this direction. So, I'm gonna go with, I think, probably like this. We'll do it, we'll do it both rows at a time, at the same time. So, toilets, I'm gonna put this a little bit different, because I want the piping to, to match up this time. So the prayer mat will just kind of face this way. Get the shower heads on this side. Drains like this. That will be it. Uh, we're going to put the jail door on this end. Like that. And then there needs to be a concrete wall. Like that. And we'll get this cloned and just bam, 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 bam all the way down. And then we can use this design to do these cells. And we should not have to do any more cell designing for this. Because we have like the clone tool now for all of these so we should be able to just get them done we have the piping laid down for what we want already too all right so this is all done now i think nope we're still waiting on the let's do the rooms mark them as cells see if the doors open as previously suggested oh i think you have to open them so once you manually open them, then they'll stay open. Okay, so there you go. There's your answer. Cool. That works. So quick build, clone. We'll just go like this. Yep, all that's done. Now let's clone just this cell. Go like this. All the way down. There. Cells in that wing are all getting built now. This is laundry. So let's put in laundry machine. We'll put three. And then the rest of this area will be ironing boards. Uh, like this, I guess. Mm hmm I think this works. Yep, and then we can move the door to be here instead. Then pop this here. Uh, we're gonna get the metal detectors. We need to start protecting this area a little bit. We're gonna want laundry baskets in here as well. We'll take two of them. Mark the room as laundry. Okay then. Once they get that built, it'll be A-OK. -okay. And then what? Do the yard next. Could do the common room next. 
This place is almost ready to just take prisoners right now. Still a little bit left to do regarding the water situation. There's not quite enough distance. Hmm. If I go up like this, does it count? Will that work? Or is this too far as well? Do I need to go straight to it? Let's find out. We will find out. How is temperatures looking throughout the whole place? We have a couple of classrooms that need more water. These classrooms need some as well, but most of the prison looks okay. Most of it. Some cold cells over here though. Let's get, uh, gotta treat these cold cells over there. We'll go one right there. And then the, the classrooms need piping, but this one needs radiators. So now this one will get the radiators. Like that, I think. And then this one just needs, yeah, this is, ah, uh, I see what happened. Let's dismantle this and then replace it here. See how that works. This is a fancy prison. I mean, it's 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 just it's just something organic. It's not it's not like uh, there's no not a whole lot of cemetery, you know. I like to do little squiggles, not necessarily line things up. This one here. I like solitary like this too. It's like a like there's solitary cells on both sides sort of thing. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I guess it's fancy. And it it's got its own way of being fancy. Go this way with that flooring. This flooring should go all the way here. It connects those two corridors. Now, this is the metal flooring, but there's like this gap between them. And I'm going to put in I wish I had more my flooring options from last series. If I had the flooring options from season two, I'd be really happy. Season two, we had lots of flooring options. I think I'm just gonna go with marble on the edges here. Cause it's cheaper. Like that, like that, like that. Uh, no, this is metal, because it goes to there. Mm, this is metal as well. Yes. All the way to there. Uh, all the way here, good. Metal up to there. Get the wood floor for that. And that. Now, these prisoners are going to need a way to get to the canteen, which is where my... My big door, my my big door is gonna come in handy right there. My super big door. We're gonna put that big door right here. Okay, claiming lockdown, there you go. Lockdown will happen from uh, five o'clock, uh, 510 to 7.10. Lockdown's in, but my big door is going right here. I'm wondering, which direction that o that opens? It looks like it opens this way. So I'm going to put that thinking that it's going to open that way. And this will be how the prisoners in this block make their way out this way. They'll use all that. Let's get uh, more marble flooring up through here. Let's also speed up time so I can just don't have to deal with the lockdown as much in real lifetime. Storage closet is a thing. Kinda like that, I guess. We can put in like a few phones and stuff in these little nooks. Something they can do on their free time sort of thing. Maybe, we'll find out. Why is this not, oh, they didn't build these pipes yet. They still have to work on those pipes. I like these guys eating. Eating is good. Looks like the kitchen staff is on. I'm going to need more kitchen staff. So we're going to hire... Oh, we got an escape today. Where? Up here? Really? I did not want to 
I don't want to hire that doctor. They escaped out here, didn't they? Yes, I bet they did. I bet they walked right out this door. There's no sniper here. So then they climbed up and out. Is that how that happened? We need to dismantle these trees. We need to have all the trees off the map. They can climb them. We got tunnels through here we have to get rid of now. Oh dear. Yeah, guards are not doing anything here. I got snipers just standing around with their rifles. No idea why. Why are you standing around? What? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? What? Are you bugged? You're bugged, aren't you? It's because it's too dangerous, but nobody will move. That's what it is, isn't it? Now that it's no longer considered too dangerous, you'll move. You are snipers. Like, shoot him. <laughs> you have guns. <laughs> okay. Please don't stand in one spot in my maximum security wing with your rifle. I really would appreciate it if you not did that. We are going to get rid of this door and have this be the only door. I'm actually considering going through here instead. And by considering, I mean that's what I'm going to do. We're going to get rid of this door too. We're going to get rid of these two doors. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So we'll put these walls. This staff room will only be accessible if you go through this or this way. That'll be how that works. Let's get an extra door put in here just because. Extra staff doors. This wing will have a staff door here. This jail door can now be closed if it wants to be. Yeah. That's how that has to happen. These guys don't have any way to get to the table without getting staff to help them through here. Hmm. I don't know about that logistical problem. This isn't hooked up to any of our door servos. So we're going to hook that up. But now the workmen can get back on doing what they're supposed to do. Common room. Let's give them a pool table. Let's get it to them off in the off in the corner, actually. Pool table. Let's give them a few arcades over here. Uh, we'll put a small TV on this side and have them be able to watch television from this side. It's fine. We're gonna give them. A couple of benches, not sofas. You can have a bench here and here. And then we'll give you the lockless door there so you can get in. And how about another door down here? We'll need metal detectors inside there. And uh, let's go here. That's going to cost us a whole bunch in power. whole bunch in power. It's very power expensive. Uh, luckily, it's this that's powering it, and it's got lots of capacity left over, so. Oh, we got no, no water here. Right next to the damn pipe. Yeah, that big pipe going right by these cells is a little bit of a problem, too, but that's why I've got fences wrapped around this to kind of prevent them from just being out all of a sudden. Performance, how are we doing? Oh, we got we got potential for days here. I want as many of these guys as I can get. Join my team, folks. Join my team. Yeah, come on over. How about you? You're in here for quite a while. You got a good chance to not you got a good chance to reoffend. I'm gonna get you. Get you on my team. 
All right. Cool beans. <clears throat> Is this almost done? This stuff's getting worked on now. Cells are getting worked on still. Let's get the planning lines taken care of here. They're a little bit annoying. Get rid of those planning lines. There we go. This common room, we'll get rid of those planning lines. All these planning lines. Yep, we don't need them anymore. Now these tables are in place, but there's no benches. So let's get the benches sorted out as well. Cool. Benches are in. That's a nifty, fancy little canteen they're gonna have once they get in here. And then we'll do a big intake, we'll get them all in this wing. Hopefully they won't kick off as much as they are. I need another workshop bad though. I need to figure out what to do about it. Another workshop is gonna be needed. And I'm kind of tempted to put it right here. We can have the exit for the staff be here. And then the staff can just take it around this. It's kind of a long trek. <clears throat> but... I mean, that's just the way the prison's designed right now. Unless I can get it to where... There's only 19 normal security left, so... I could just open it up to be all shared. And just say that the normal security that are left over are just gonna be what's left over. We don't need the regime, you know? Can all be shared. Could do that. We have two people trying to learn carpentry. Nope, just one person. Chances to succeed is... It's zero. It's because you have literally every single need possible. Like, what have you been doing all day? Maybe I need to give them more free time. Maybe they need more free time here. What if we went... What if I put free time here for everybody? According to some of our guards, a new radio host. I don't have radios near any prisoners, do I? I, guess I, I thought I've learned my lesson about this already. So I'm pretty sure I don't have any radios near prisoners. Because that's all this game ever wants to do is give you this random event. I don't think I have any... Apparently I don't have any hot water either. Oh, it's not, it's not installed yet. He's on his way. Okay. Uh, any more hot water problems? Yeah. Oh, it's just not quite... Well, do this then. That should solve it. Yeah, that'll take care of it. You can connect it there too if you want to. Uh, now this is maybe a problem. Just go like this. Call that good. Just needs a personal sink. Personal frickin' sink. I forgot that that was necessary. Forgot that that was necessary entirely. Does this mean that my... My laundry baskets are no longer in there. The one thing I don't like about this is that you'll put the laundry baskets in the laundry room, but if you don't have everything required for the laundry room, the staff end up taking the baskets out of the room to go and do things with them, like with other laundry rooms, and then you end up not having the basket requirement in the room. You have to buy another basket or just get rid of one of your other ones. Thankfully, there's still one in here. So if I could get that in here, that'd be great. And let's get the power hooked up. Personal sink. Yeah, now we got the requirement, everything's fine. Both baskets are still in here, good. All right then. That's our laundry room. So I think we're ready to intake. Yeah, I think we're ready. I'm gonna take 25 of you. I'm gonna bring 25 more in. And if I don't get a gang leader from this, I'll be very, very surprised. If I don't get a gang leader from this. There's no gang leaders in, but with this many gang me members already in the prison, 11, 6, and 7 respectively, if you're going on the list, 
I know my head is in the way of the gang, so that's like the only thing my head is ever in the way of. <clears throat> 11, 6, and 7. But if I don't get a gang leader from this... From this intake, it's gonna be really strange. Are the events bugged? There are quite a lot of radio hosts in the save. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of radio hosts. It's... I, I kind of don't know why. I think it's because I've kind of taken steps against a lot of other things. Like, there's a lot of steps taken against fires. We've got you know, sprinkler systems. I'm keeping my power consumption kind of at that limit where it doesn't really blow. And so those events can't happen. We did have a subsidence in the land destroy my wall over here, but I repaired it really quickly. I've had a couple of pipes burst, but uh, we actually just got rid of the one where... You're not allowed to have weight benches in your yard for a while. So that's... We've gotten that too. But the radio one happens a lot. And it's... I, I just don't put radios near prisoners anymore because it's annoying. It's like the one event where you have to hunt and pet. You don't have to remove them though. I mean, it's... It, that's one of the events where it, it tells you to do something and you don't actually have to do it. What is going on here? You've had this queued. What are you doing? This guy's bugged all to hell. Goodbye. He's been, he's, he's had this as a job forever and he's just exhausted in the room. Let's redo it. See if we can get somebody else on the job. Probably should hire more staff. I need a couple more workmen. Deal with all this other stuff we're doing. And we're actually really low on cash now. That's a problem. Did not see that happening. We're low on cash. 14,000 in the bank, we're losing 2,900 a day. Okay. So now I have to worry about money again. I've been spending a lot, but this big intake we're gonna have, I think should offset a lot of it. I'm gonna bring more than this. I'm gonna go with 35. I put a lot of money into this facility, and I've taken in nobody. So I think that's that's the next play. Let's get these marked as cells. Mark them all as cells. We're missing doors here on these these two doors. So we can get those two doors in. Uh, make sure we've got cells marked all along here. Yep, we do. Now we do. All of these need to be marked as cells, and they are. Fantastic. All of these are marked as cells. Yes. Okay. So all that's left is the doors for these four. And these will all be cells now. Cool. So when that's over with, uh, we need power for this door servo as well. Guess we'll go up that way. But when this is over with, then we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of ready for the intake. And I should have a capacity that's way exceeds what I have. See, right now it says my maximum capacity is 45 and I've got 134 maximum prisoners. Why is that? Because my shared capacity is up over here. So if I pop that and I pop this, uh, no, that's not what I want at all. There we go kitchen is going to be that. If I pop all of this, now this stuff becomes available for everybody. And my capacity goes way up. Yeah. I have capacity for 40 more. Let's just go shared on this stuff. Let's go shared on these things. If they want to go there, we'll let them go there. Because I don't think it matters much. The prison is most... The prison is almost all... all almost exclusively maximum security at this point. So I don't... I think it matters as much as it used to. This has to be staff only as well. Okay, cool.